If you go to Nigeria, Biko, Biko, don't just go and call and tell anyone you want collector or you want dustpan because both the market women or the market men or whoever you're going to patronize is going to be looking at you. The person is going to be lost for a very long time except you have a photo or you can easily identify it on the shop and show them that this is what you want. So we call it Paka. Hello all the JC Pepper and Paste. Hello all the JC Sugar Sugar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. As always, today I'm going to be talking about some of the cultural shock. Like things I saw about Ghanaians that are literally very, very different, very weird. Please, I'm going to put a disclaimer in this video. This is not in any way disrespecting any culture or disres disrespecting the Ghanaian culture. I'm trying to show or tell the differences between what we have back at home in Nigeria and what you are going to see in Ghana if you're in Ghana or if you intend um, visiting Ghana in the nearest future for whatever reason, then you should be familiar with this kind of thing. Now, when you see things like this or hear them say, it you are not going to be shocked because for me i was really i'm um, surprised i was super surprised seeing that things we have at home some certain things we have in nigeria have different um, names in ghana so if you really don't demonstrate what you really want as a newbie in ghana but you and the person you are talking to will be lost like nobody will be able to understand each other i know you may be wondering what is this guest saying and don't worry i'm going to get right into the vid video in a jiffy and i think at this point i have to state that this might be because of um the people who colonized us or as you all know that ghana was colonized by britain and most times if you are very observant you will notice that Ghanaians generally or should i say 90 percent of Ghanaians, Ghanaians use the british vocabulary more than they use that of the american and i also heard there was a time in their english classes that a student is not allowed to use both the american english and that of the um, british english you have to stick to one and what you are sticking to is um british i don't know if this so, or if they still strongly held as it was back in the days. Ghanaian family, just let me know about this in the comment section. Is it allowed in Ghana currently in schools by the school teachers for you or for a student to miss both the American English and that of the British English? If it's obtainable, let me know on the comment section. So guys, back to the story of the day. As I said before, this is going to be very interesting. It might also sound very weird to some people, especially to Nigerians. From the part of the world where I come from, and that is Nigeria, if you want to go and poop, you all know what poop is. You can say that you want to use the toilet, you want to use the bathroom, and some other people like the elderly ones and those of them who really didn't go to school are going are going to say i want to use the bathroom okay so when you hear a nigerian calling bathroom they are automatically referring to bathroom so normally when we want to go and poop i go bathroom or i go toilet but this is something that is very different it is the opposite in ghana in ghana you are going to hear the ghanaians call washroom Ghanaians don't find using words like toilet appropriate, courtesy enough. A Ghanaian would rather say, I am going to the washroom or I am going to the private. So when you hear washroom, when you hear private, what should automatically comes to your mind is the person wants to go to the toilet or bathroom. There was a certain time I visited my friend and we wanted to get a packer. I was sweeping so I needed a packer to collect the dust, the dirt and trash. So I told her I need a packer and she was looking at me, she said packer. So what's packer? I said packer. I was like, you don't know what packer is. I had to go and bring the packer, show it to her and said, this, is this not packer? She said, oh, what's packer? That is not what it is called, that they call it collector. Packer in Nigeria, in Ghana, is called collector. Some Ghanaians also call it dust pan. So whether you are calling dust pan or collector, it means the same thing. But if you go to Nigeria, Biko, Biko, don't just go and call and tell anyone you want collector or you want dust pan because both the market women or the market men or whoever you're going to patronize is going to be looking at you. The person is going to be lost 
for a very long time except you have a photo or you can easily identify it on the shop and show them that this is what you want so we call it Paka. So this is another um, culture, cultural um, differences we have in both countries in the way we say certain things that that are the same. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is this is my sitting room. We call this palo. I can easily tell my children, oh, go to the palo, get me, um, get me my reading book, get me my glasses, get me something. Generally, all Nigerians know what a palo is. When you say go to the palo. It means a living room. It means a sitting room. So everyone is very familiar with that. In Nigeria, a particular room where we welcome guests, guests, where we have our television, we have our music equipment, the place where we make amazingly beautiful, that part of the house is what we call parlor. The polished ones will call it a sitting room. That is what Ghanaians call hall. Please, if you're a Nigerian watching this video, just let me know your opinion about this. So, the living room or sitting room or our parlor is known as hall in Ghana. So, when you talk about hall, it means different thing for us. A hall means where you can hold a party, where you can hold, host um, a wedding, where you can host a very large number of people, like minimum of 100 persons, okay? That is what a hall is for Nigerians. So another amazing cultural difference in the way we call things is um, rapper. A Ghanaian do not know what rapper is. If you tell a Ghanaian, I need a rapper, the Ghanaian is going to be shocked and be looking at you. What we call rapper is what Ghanaians call clothes. 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 When you hear a Ghanaian calling clothes, they are equally referring to the wrapper we tie most of our parents at home we just tie it above their um, breasts and some is going to tie it on their waist and put on the brows another amazing cultural shock is servants i need to show you this fam look at this okay this is a servant that is what we call it in nigeria for the record servant is a french word for us in nigeria this is known as servants okay we use this we use this to dry our hands after um, using the bathroom or after eating in the restaurant. So this is savage. But in Ghana, Ghana refers to this as tissue. The popular one we call tissue is the one that is round in shape. I don't have a photo to show you. That is what we call or what we refer to as tissue paper when i'm going out when i want to go visit a friend i'm going to tell my family or whoever that is with me that okay i'm call, i'm going with the box or i can call my friend and say oh babe i'm coming with the box the first time i hear the word trotter i was like trotter i was like what's that trotter is the same thing as the box but Ghanaians call it trotter for me it was funny and weird what's trotter then in lagos state People refer to it, some people refer to it as um, downfall, okay? But mostly, majorly, we call it bus. When you are in Ghanaian and you want to take it to public transport, don't forget to tell them you want to use a trotter, not a box. It is not so common with them. What is trotter? You may be asking. Trotter is an old ga term for three, three pursuers. In an old Ghana currency, it was the fare for taking a mini bus or wounding truck public transport in the city of Accra and other parts. Now you know how truck truck came about. In Nigeria, we know that the person that drives the box is called the driver. And the person that helps the passengers to come in or takes money, that collects money from the passengers, um, give them their, their change is called conductor in Ghana. It is not conductor. Okay <laughs> I don't even know why we had that conductor name came about because in physics We are thought that conductor has the ability to absorb or to give electricity something like that But that is a technology in um, science or in physics specifically I don't know how the word conductor came into use for those people who help the drivers in public transport. So in Ghana, what you are going to hear is mates. Yes, M-A-T-E, mates. So when you hear someone telling you, oh, go to the mate, the person is referring to doctor. So that is another cultural of differences in the way we call things. Now guys, look at this. 
what we call this in the parts of the world where I come from is nylon, nylon bag or waterproof. These are the two names we call anything that has to do with something like this. But in Ghana, it is referred to as rubber. Yes, rubber. Please, if you know the history why this uh, plastic bag is known as rubber, please just let me know in the comment section, okay, so we can all learn and grow together. In Nigeria, we have states. And this is because Nigeria is a federal country. Nigeria practice federalism. Why Ghana? Ghana practice um, unitary system. So in the unitary system, the country is divided into regions, not states. And these regions have have someone who governs governs it, and the person is referred to as minister. But in Nigeria, we call them the governor, like gov Imo state governor, Anambra state governor, Enugu state, Kanu state governor, and in in Ghana, it is regional minister or ministers. I have a lot more to say. And if you want me to make a part two of this video, just let me know on the comment section. And please just drop other things you know that Nigerians call them and um, that is also different um, from the way Ghana call them. So thank you so much for watching. Till I come your way next time. Bye.